Here we go, family of believers. We are in week four of our sermon series, 40 Days of Prayer. And this week we're looking at what it means to be praying in the midst of uncertainty or praying in uncertainty. I'm Pastor Ben. And uh, the Bible verse that we're looking at for today specifically, I mean, we've had a number of passages up until today, but this is from Philippians chapter 1, verses 20 through 27, and here it is. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to be depart and be with Christ, which is better by far, but it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain. And I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith so that through my being with you, again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. I love that section. And it's so important in this time. And it's so important in any time of uncertainty. Did you hear the confidence that Paul had? But did you also hear the uncertainty? Even to the point of of the, the most basic uncertainty with which we are all faced, each and every one of us during this time, life or death, that tomorrow is not guaranteed. And COVID has put that in front of your face. And it's hard. It's uncertain. But in the face of that, Paul throws the most certain thing that we can have. And we know, we know where things are headed. We know that one day our Savior is coming again. Whether, whether he comes before we die or whether we die before he comes, there is a culmination, a, a joy of an eternity that is, that is coming, that is beautiful, and that is our goal. That is where we end up. So, so even in the meantime, if I die right now and I depart and be with Christ, that's still where I'm headed. And so I'm okay waiting in that context. And that's far better for me. But... To remain in the body would be far better for you. There's some uncertainty. I don't know what's going to happen. I have courage. I pray for courage. What does it look like in your life in this time of uncertainty to pray for courage? It's a way, it's something that we each need to pray, pray for. It's something that we each need to have in our lives. And now I'm not talking about praying and being stupid. (laughs) I'm not talking about testing God. That's that's different. But I am talking about the fact that, in, in, that there is a basic level of uncertainty that has, that has confronted all of us, that tomorrow is not guaranteed. And, and there is a certain amount of courage that we all must face and we must all navigate and ask the Lord for during these times. Ask the Lord for courage. So praying in the, midst of certain, in the midst of uncertainty means relying on the certainty of the Lord, relying on the, the infinite wisdom and goodness and mercy of God and, and his infinite knowledge and, and wisdom that cares for us and, and also acknowledges the certainty of where things are headed, that, that there is nothing that this world can do to us that takes that away. As, as sad as we can be in certain situations when that is taken away. Um, the certainty of heaven, the certainty of, of, of God, the certainty of his presence, the certainty of his goodness, the certainty of his wisdom, uh, and the infinite nature of, of all of those for us. Um, praying means living our life in that courage, in that certainty, uh, even in the midst of so much other uncertainty. God's blessings 
Uh, he is with you. He is watching over you. He cares for you. And uh, I care for you. And I will see you soon.